All right, welcome grade 12 to statistics. This short video is for grade 12 only. All right, so just to remind you, when we looked at statistics uh, in the grade 11 and 12 uh, video, we only looked at one set of values. So we only looked at one test. But in grade 12s, we actually compared two sets of values. So we add the second test so that we can compare Look at the similarities between the two tests. All right, so you'll be given two sets of values and you have to compare. And of course, uh, using your calculator, just to uh, remind you. Okay, so using your calculator, these are the tests. You've got test one and two. So if you want to plug in these values for test one and test two, uh, you would of course go to mode, this is statistics, so statistics and of course variance but now we need to select the second option because we are comparing two sets of values. Remember in grade 11 we only selected one, we selected one but now we'll select two because we want two sets of values and let's just punch them in starting with uh, the first test, the first row test one. All right, and once we've plugged in all the values for test one, we plug in the values for test two. Okay, so now we've plugged in all the values equal sign and then we can start over and go to shift, select one, of course, variance. All right, so let's see what the question's asking. Calculate the list uh, squares regression line. And of course, the formula is given in the formula sheet. It will be given as y is equal to a plus bx. Or it might be bx first and then a, but it's the same thing. So to write this line, the, this equation, um, we would first, uh, of course, we would first uh, select Again, and variance stats. We select, uh, sorry, number five, the regression. This time, and of course, A would be 2, 17. And of course, B would be, again, shift, mode, and not the variance, but the regression. We must select to get the regression line, the equation of the regression line, and B. So let's select 2. So B will be 0, 0,912. Uh, two, four. Just for accuracy, we could select four decimals. That is our regression line. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next question. Predict um, the second percentage if the learner scored 25 for test one. So, of course, we can use that regression line. We know the regression line is 217 plus 0, 9124. Uh, so, let's substitute 25 to make this prediction. Okay. So this will be twenty-eight 
24,98. Okay. And uh, when we use the regression line to predict uh, values, that is called interpolation. So we're using the regression line to predict values within our range. Of course, uh, if you're going to predict values who are way, that are way outside our range, then that's extrapolation. But here we were using 25%, which is within the range of values that were given in the first place. Just to try to explain uh, the interpolation and extrapolation a little bit better, we look at our values here. See, the values start at 10 and they end at 39. All right. So anything within any value that we use within that range from 10 to 39 would be interpolation because we are sticking to our range. But if you were checking, um, you were substituting 50, for example, and 50 is not within that range of our, uh, the given values, then that would be extrapolation outside the range. OK. All right. So we've done interpolation because we uh, predicted for 25 um, and we got 24.98%. All right, the last question, uh, we are asked to explain the correlation between the two tests. And if we want to do that, of course, um, regression again, here we're looking for R uh, number three, that will tell us the correlation. So if you go to number three, we have a correlation of 0, 0,9966. Now, the general rule that we use to check correlation, we would say, if the R value is between 0 to 0, 0,5, then the correlation is weak. If that value is between 0, 0,5 and 0, 0,8, we'd say the correlation is strong. And if that value is between 0, 0,8 and 1, then we would say it's very strong. Okay, so of course we can see our value is in this uh, interval. So we will say the correlation is very strong, but you also need to mention that it is positive. Okay, it's positive and very strong. Okay. All right. What that means is that uh, the values are closely linked together. And if uh, we go back to our table, we can understand why the correlation is very strong. You see, uh, 12 is not too far from 2, and 18 is not too far from. So the values are really, really strongly correlated. They're not too far off from each other. The values of the second test are not too far off from the values of the second test. All right, that's what uh, correlation tells us. Okay, so thank you, uh, grade 12s. Please uh, like.